please welcome Lupita Nyong'o! Welcome back. Thank please, you. Please, please take a seat. Welcome back to the show. Thank you very so much. So good to have you. And congratulations. I've read numbers that say that Black Panther is on track right now in like nine days to cross $500 million. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you as over the moon as everyone else that's watched the movie? Yeah, probably a little higher. Right. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's amazing, amazing what this film has been able to do. I mean, we could not have predicted this, you right. know? Not only that the box office is quite handsome, <laughs> but, you know, the effect it's having on the world. I mean, for the first time, I've seen people uh, paying for other people to go see the right, movie right, right. and things like that. It's become this community effort, and that is incredible. It, it really has connected with people on a level beyond just the superhero, because. When you start with the basics, this movie is an amazing film. Black Panther is it's an amazing Marvel film, it's a superhero film. But you dig into it and you see that this film is doing something that people seem to have been longing for for a long time, and that is showcasing different faces, showcasing different people. Was that something you were cognizant of when you were making the movie? Did you go like, oh, this, this feels different, this feels special while you were making it? Oh, yeah, for sure. From the very start when Ryan walked me through the story, I was just like, oh, my goodness, this is something that... I want to see. This is some. This is a dream come true. You know that um, we get to have a superhero that's African, right? And um, he's he's fly. He's badass. He's intelligent. He's got women all around him that are also badass. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, and you know what? The women. I think that's that's the, that's the interesting part of the story for me. Is is I, I won't spoil anything for anyone, but the the women in this film aren't, like, it's not women that are on the side, it's not women that are subservient, it's not, it's like, no, these women are kicking ass in different roles yeah. in Wakanda. Yeah. And they're all individuals, they all, you play, uh, I would say, the love interest and the inspiration in many ways to T'Challa. What, when you were playing this character, what were you trying to convey? What were you trying to give us when you were playing, you know, your character? Well, I think uh, what uh, Ryan really wanted to tell tell a different story about about love, you right. know. In these kinds of genres, usually um, the the love interest is being pursued, and she's won at the end, and she's quite the B plot, and right, she doesn't right. have an effect on like the main story. And Ryan really wanted to free us of that and show us a different look at what uh, what it means to be in a relationship and have agency in that relationship. So you know, it's not your average love story. Right. You know, Nakia has her life going on as well as her love, and that's such a refreshing image and. Also to see a positive image of black relationships, you right. know, where yeah, like <laughs> where the man, the man um, is present, the man is is interesting in what the interested in what the woman has to offer. The right. man um, relies on the woman, and the woman supports the man. You know that kind of healthy relationship, and where you can argue about and, and really tussle with real issues and help each other achieve your goals outside of just um, your personal intimate um, stake. Right. Yeah. And, I, and I think there were a lot of people who were history buffs, people who study African culture, who said what they loved is Black Panther felt like it was a tip of, of the hat to African culture as it was intended, right. where people were equal, even though it was a patriarchal society, where people were going like, no, 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 women served a different role at some point. Women had more in different cultures. Yeah. When, when you played your character and when you have Danai Gurira, who's also amazing yeah. in this story, you guys are badass. And, and there is a scene that touches on something I, I thought was a rumor, but I found out is true, and that was no one had straightened hair in the movie. Oh, yeah. No one had, you know, the hair that it was, like, like with a, usually a curling yeah. iron on their hair. Why, why was that so important? Is that something that's important? Well, I think it, it goes back to what is um, innately... Uh, considered beautiful on the continent. You know, before the advent of the white man, black people on the continent were doing all sorts of things with their hair, right. right? So the idea of extensions and all that, that is not new. But the kind of shaming or um, 
rejecting of kinks and curls is new, and that right. did come with the white man. Right. And so in this story, Wakanda is a country that's never been colonized. They don't know the first thing about the white world. Right. And so they embrace themselves. They embrace themselves. They have their own sense of what is beautiful and their own sense of augmentation. And that's why you don't see any straight hair. And, and you feel people connecting with this movie in, in, a, in an authentic, and also, I, I want to say, like, a, like a, a beautiful way, because it's not, it's not anti-anything, it's just pro. It's mm -hmm. pro, it's enjoying being yeah. black, it's enjoying all different aspects of being black. Yeah. I've noticed people in the streets becoming Wakandans. Oh, yeah. Which is my... <laughs> yeah, like Roy, like Roy, for instance, went, went out to a Foot Locker, and then when he was done, the guy was like, have a good day, brother. <laughs> And he was like... <laughs> I love it! I it's like love it! This is like people are doing this now in the streets. I know. People are... Have you noticed any of that? Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. So yesterday, I took a walk. It was such a beautiful day yesterday in New York. And so I was undercover, and um, I, I took a walk to the park, and I came across this group of teenagers. And they were all barking like Mbaku. <laughs> So they were doing, there's like a gorilla, like there's, it's, it's a gorilla tribe that's powerful and there's, right. there's like a, the, the epic, like the hoo 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 yeah, hoo hoo hoo. Exactly, and they were doing that. And, and I was just so amused and I was giggling to myself and they were like, oh my God, and one of them hadn't seen the movie and they're like, you gotta see the movie so that we can make memes and get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was incredible. Is it, is it a little bit strange for you? You were in 12 Years a Slave, Yeah. right? People would come up to you and be like, oh, Lupita, that was amazing, that was a fantastic portrayal. And now you're in what was supposed to just be a superhero movie, but it feels like for this movie, people are asking you the deepest questions about blackness oh. and African culture, and does yeah. the movie fix every single problem that black people face, and <laughs> will, this earth, will this fix the errors of the past? <laughs> It's a little bit overwhelming and, and lopsided it, for you. It truly is, and I thought, okay, I did 12 Years a Slave, and the kinds of questions I got with that were deep, and, you know, I had to almost, like, study before I did my press tour. And then with this, I was like, ah, this is easy. It's just a superhero movie, right, you know? Right. I'll just talk about, like, lifting weights or something. But then the questions are extremely deep, and people are really relating to this on a very deep level. I feel like I need a PhD just to, like, answer <laughs> people's questions. Right. <laughs> And you did, you did lift weights, though. You did, I did. Let's talk about that. <laughs> no, you did lift weights. You, like, you, you trained... How many months did you train to fight for? Was... Well, it was... I was training for about four months before... Like, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, well, first of all, just in New York, conditioning and right, getting my right. body ready for boot camp. And boot camp was six weeks before we started filming. And we trained... First of all, it started... For, it was, like, four hours a day. And then I was, like, bonking. I was so tired. And then I was growing too buff. And so they had to take it down to just two hours a day. And, yeah, they that like, was that very There were, two intense. Black Panthers in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> too strong, Lupita. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I had to... Because I couldn't fit in my clothes after a little while. Right. Yeah, because my, my, my arms were just, like, stones. And I was just like, OK, this was not the idea. I don't need to take up more seats of the screen, you right. know? And let's just, like, <laughs> tone it down. <laughs> uh, I, I, I would be remiss if I let you go without speaking about news that came out yesterday. Uh, apparently, you agreed to produce and star in a film about a young South African boy and his mother. Yes! Uh, <laughs> Like, uh, first of all, I, I wanted to say thank you. I mean, like, when, when, we, when we first spoke about the book as a concept, you were like, I love this book, I love the story, I love everything about it. Well, you uh, don't even, you're not telling the truth, because the truth is, I was on the set of Black Panther, and I got the book, I pre-ordered it, got it, I read it, and I sent you an email. And I, I said, Trevor, please, would you do me the honor of letting me play your mother? <laughs> And then I was like, I don't know if it'll work out. <laughs> and then she sent me a pic of her muscles. And I was like, oh, that's my mom. Yeah, that's my mom. That's my mom. You can do it. I'm excited. Thank you for everything you're doing. Black uh, Panther's amazing. You are phenomenal. We'll see you here again. $500 million. It's going to be a billion dollars. We'll see you in the sequel. We'll see you in everything. Lupita yes. Nyong'o. Thank you. Thank you so much. Black Panther. In theaters now. Lupita Nyong'o, everyone.